I want to ask you what you remember on Oscar night when you won for Best Supporting Actress for The Constant Gardener. I'd never been to the Academy Awards, so it was my first time. So I was a virgin in every sense. I remember my unborn child <laughs> in my belly, because uh, I think I was eight, eight months pregnant. Where do you keep your Oscar? My son called it, when he was very little, the medal. I don't know, what, I guess because it's so golden, and so it's actually in, in his room. <laughs> it's in my son's room. Is there advice you would have given to like your 10-year-old self? The thing about advice, in my experience, it, it has always been meaningless. The only thing that's ever worked for me is to have an experience and to fall over, scrape my knees, fail, and then get insight through my failures. I've been talking about youth since I saw it. What was it for you that made you want to do it? I think the best thing about youth is not having fear, is being fearless and the freedom that comes from fearlessness. But the thing is, when you're young, well, I speak for myself, I didn't know anything. I was fearless because I was an idiot. <laughs> and what's wonderful about this film, it's about finding that feeling of youth, of fearlessness, of being able to jump into the unknown, of being excited about the future, but having it when you're older. Michael Caine's character rediscovers his youth at 82. And what that means is, is that he suddenly has a bright, future. Anybody that knows you really well, what would they say is your most annoying habit? Changing my mind about things. And I would say, I'm just, you know, I'm in the flow. Life changes from minute to minute. But they would say, no, you're a pain in the ass. You change your mind. <laughs> I thought we were going here today. It's like, let's do something else.